Hello, this is Bobby, aka Asby Media, and in this video, I will be talking about my problems with um, a political philosophy which with which I have long had sympathies, actually, um, and to a certain extent still do, democratic confederalism. <coughs> now, this was a request by one of my comrades and frequent subscribers, um, who goes by the username Herbal HRT Garden. Um, and, um, and, um, <coughs> and, uh, I figured that since this is a political philosophy, um, with which I long identified with and still retain some some sympathies for, um, pointing out, um, my problems with it would be an interesting exercise. So, that is what I am going to do in this video. Now, to be clear, um, I still like many things about the democratic confederalist um, philosophy and and agree with um, democratic confederalists on a number of values. Um, for instance, their ecological focus, their um, their feminism, their, te um, their tendency to be um, advocates of multiculturalism and, and multi-tendency libertarian socialist tactics. I'm all for that. However, um, the problem um, that um, that many democratic confederalists and communalists um, have um, is like um, is like um, a lot of them are sort of overly dry and academic in their political approach. Um, also, um, a lot of them are, um, are, um, pretty far removed from, from, uh, the day-to-day -day struggles of the working class, um, obviously, like, like, I, um, like, like, I'm not as close to the struggles of the working class as I have been in the past, but I still am closer than a lot of other democratic confederalists online and IRL. Um, also, um, a lot of... Excuse me. Excuse me again. Mm. A lot of democratic confederalists are far too moderate for my liking, and they come off almost as left-wing minarchists, 
uh, rather than a uh, full-on anarchist. That's not to say, of course, that I'm not willing to have friendly relations with minarchists or in particular left-wing minarchists. Right-wing minarchists, of course, can fuck off, but, yeah, like, um, and, and, um, that's coming from someone who used to be a right-wing minarchist, by the way. In fact, um, um, I, like, um, in fact, I was a right-wing minarchist, um, before I became a market anarchist and then, um, gradually transitioned to libertarian socialism. Then I sort of, like, had had this weird, like, like, synthesis of libertarian socialism and individualist anarchism going on for a while. Um, um, and I, and I still do sympathize with some aspects of, of individualist anarchism, although, like, obviously not so much the pro-market aspects, which I no longer accept. This has been Bobby, a.k.a. Aspie Media, Liberty, Equality, Fraternity, Goodbye.